Welcome back, everybody. We've got uh, a little breakfast treat to start things all off right. here this morning. That's right. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it does have the feel of fall in the air, and all of the apples are starting to uh, become ready. So I can give you some uh, something to think about in regards to how to uh, maybe preserve uh, the fresh fruit of the season throughout the winter months, too. And I, for some reason, I always associate back to school with apples because we would always be picking them up, filling our backpacks, and taking them to teachers. And uh, Right, you always take an, ap take an apple to your teacher. Yeah. And all of that, yeah. So um, it's also kind of that that back to school time as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on apple pie filling all right. today because it's a great thing to have in your pantry. Um, you know what's in it when you create it yourself. It has a wonderful flavor to it, and it has a lot of different uses. It's something that yeah, I, I'm always grateful to have throughout the winter months because you can whip some things up really quickly. Very comforting. Yes, okay. I use it for a, you know a breakfast uh, staple as well um, for the kids when they get ready for school each day. So but, what do we need to do to okay, get started? Okay, so we're going to talk. At, let's talk apples first. Okay. For this um, recipe, you want to get the tartest apple possible. Really? Yes, okay. because a tart, a really tart apple, um, it holds its uh, consistency better, and it's just has a better flavor to it for the filling itself. So, and okay. when you use the sweeter apples, they tend to get a little mushier and you get too much sweetness with it. So Good you want to wanna use the tartest apple that you can possibly find. And I have, these are apples that I have in my backyard. And okay. farmer's markets this time of year, you can be able to stock up on them. Um, bulk, check yeah. your neighbors may have some trees. Uh, maybe you have some for yourself, but it's really a great way to uh, preserve them and enjoy them throughout the, the next few months. So what you want to do is um, put your apple, you want one of these peelers and slicers. Right. Let's get this stuck on there for you nicely. Okay, because this just makes the job a lot easier. Easier, yes. yes. Stick that on there. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and crank away. Crank away. I'm hold it for you. Oh, it's not sticking on. As you say, I can grab well. it here. Yeah. Just help. And then watch how easy this is. Peel yep, it off. Crank it up. Woohoo! I used to love doing this in my mom's kitchen when I was a kid. And it's a great activity for, you know, the entire family. We can just sit at the table, have a bushel of apples nearby, get them all peeled up. And then when you're working with the, the when you're working with the tartar Ooh. apples, and <laughs> that's fun. I actually saved all of this stuff uh, one year or two to make vinegar because I hate to throw things away, and it was okay. But I, so I, I'm not here to share that idea with you today. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Try and get it a little bit better. And then what you want to do when you're working with the tartar apples, they tend to brown very very quickly. Okay. So I usually um, will cut them in half here, and then I put them in some water and then sprinkle this fruit fresh. There's a product that, and you sprinkle that into your water, and then that's gonna help them from turning brown. Brown. Yes, but these, my apples are super, super tart, so they turn brown almost the minute that we slice them, but, so I used quite a bit of it, and you can see how it's still a little bit brown, but that's okay, because once we put the filling and all of that with it, you're gonna have that natural browning that anyway. doesn't affect yeah. the flavor any, but putting this in your water as you're working with them just kind of prevents them from that. getting too Perfect. much of that. Right, okay, so now let's talk the filling. So okay. what, um, you wanna have about six quarts of apples. So that's about the quantity to make this batch. Okay. And then we're gonna end up with six, seven quarts of pie filling in the end. Now, for the filling itself, we're wanting to use, we need apple juice, okay. five cups of apple juice. We're using five cups of sugar. It does have a lot of sugar. I mean, that sounds like a lot, five cups, but it's distributed over all of those quarts. Okay. You can play around with different sweeteners. I know some people are real sensitive with the sugars and so forth, but um, I haven't actually done much with that, with the honeys and that, it's not quite the same. So um, stick with the sugar for this recipe. And then you need a product this is called clear gel and it's okay. a modified cornstarch there's no substitutions for it so you need to and it's a hard product to find in the grocery stores there's a little uh, little store in DeSoto that actually carries it but the high V's and uh, local markets don't usually have it in stock and you need to get it online but it's okay. called clear gel clear and gel. it's what makes it so that it doesn't get cloudy if you use another kind of cornstarch um, or other thickeners it can change the flavor of it and the consistency. The clear gel is just, it's a perfect um, product for okay. making your pie filling. Have okay? to look that up. So what you do is you're gonna mix all of these into your pan okay. and you're gonna cook that up until it thickens. It thickens and bubbles. It almost looks like a caramel. Yeah. <laughs> That's and how thick we're talking When here. it's all thick and bubbly, then okay. you're going to add your lemon juice. You need three-fourths of a cup of bottled lemon juice. Okay. And put that in there, stir it up, and then boil it for one minute, and that's it. So this that's is kind of cooled Super a little simple. bit so it's even thicker. But then now what we're going to do is we're going to pour it over the apples. I'll take okay. this from you let you dump that right in over the apples. Perfect. There you go. 
Nice. Yeah. Doesn't that already look amazing? <laughs> Plus, if you try to work with any of those other thickeners, you're going to notice that yeah, I may not want to scrape the bottom. Okay. Gonna get all the get a little of the dark ooey gooeyness in, yeah. in there. Yeah. And then you're going to stir all of this up, mix okay. that up good. And one of these nice big bowls helps. Is, yeah, for <laughs> all of your, you know, any of if you're into, you know, the harvest and gardens, and just having one of these makes a lot of recipes very easy to stir, mix up. Look at that. Then what you do to can it, you're going to put it in your jars. Okay. And you're going to put it in a hot water bath for 25 minutes. So we're not Seal cooking it. our apples, and that also helps with maintaining that nice crunchiness and okay. consistency of your apples. So you're going to put it in a put it in your jars, put it in a hot water bath for 25 minutes, and that's it. Sealed, ready to go. On, yep, put them on your shelf, and they'll last you throughout the year. So let's talk about some fun ways of using this once yes. we so open that can. It is. You can just eat it as is. My daughter loves it for breakfast, and she'll have maybe some granola just like or that. something with it. Just like this. You can mash it up. It makes a delicious applesauce. Ooh. I'm going to have you taste. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep, I Very hard. good. And I then hard. it's so quick and easy. Anytime mm. you want to make a pie, Love apple. all you have to do, you can get a ready-made crust, make it super easy, okay. uh, make your own crust, and then all you have to do is open your jar. Pop it in, fill it throw up. that in the oven. You can make boom. your own little pop tarts. Love that idea. Um, and then that, again, you have more control over your ingredients. You know what's in it, keeps it a little bit healthier, um, but it's delicious and this, and it also makes a great gift. And anytime you know you oh, need to make some little yeah. pies, anything, it's just it's fabulous. So you great have a way little to bit those of apples. harvest and fall with you the entire year. Yeah, I love that as well. Good stuff. Super simple. There's a look at the ingredients, what you need for your apple pie filling. We'll also have that online as well for you to check out so you can make something super simple yourself using ingredients you I might. So yeah, I was a little intimidated easy. when I yeah, at first and I've made it for the last several years. Works easy. We simple, can do it here. Delicious. You can do it in probably ingredients you can find in your own backyard. Michelle, you're awesome. Thank you so much.